Gary Charnas. Gary Charnas, born on February 3, 1950, is Professor of Economics and the Director of the Experimental and Behavioral Economics Laboratory in the Department of Economics at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Charnas is an economist and social scientist specializing in experimental and behavioral work. He is currently ranked third in the world by REPEC in the field of experimental economics and has published nearly 80 academic articles. Charnas is a contributor to several areas of economic research including social preferences, identity and group membership, communication and beliefs, behavioral interventions, group decision-making, social networks, gender, and individual decision-making. A centerpiece of his research has been to affect beneficial social outcomes in difficult economic environments. Charnas's work has been discussed and published in the New York Times and Science, as well as in other media. Charnas is married and has three children. Early years. Sharnas was born in Chicago into a middle-class Jewish family. His grandparents left the Ukraine and Lithuania in the 1910s for the U.S. He attended elementary school on the near north side until his family moved to Skokie in 1962. In his early years, he wished to be a scientist and a baseball player. These interests manifested in his becoming a social scientist in his 40s and playing competitive senior softball. He attended junior high school and high school in Skokie, finishing at the top of his class and receiving a National Merit Scholarship. Sharnas received his Bachelor of Science from the University of Michigan in 1971, having completed the honors program in mathematics. While this program was geared towards producing math professors, he decided against graduate school in favor of traveling the world and learning about people. After traveling Europe and the Middle East, he returned to the U.S. in late 1972 and relocated to San Francisco where he pursued a diverse array of occupations. In the span of 20 years, Sharnas pursued among other activities being a semi-professional perka player, an importer of textile art from Indonesia, an options trader on the Pacific Exchange, and a real estate broker, investor, and lender. In the fall of 1990, Charnas read a newspaper article about a Stanford professor winning a Nobel Prize and knew one of the colleagues Paul Milgram interviewed for the piece, as they were both students in the Honors Mathematics program at Michigan. This spurred him to apply to the Economics PhD program at Berkeley. He pushed his way into Berkeley despite an initial rejection and started the program in 1991. Academic life. At Berkeley, Charnas learned about experiments being used for research and saw this as an extension of Brooker playing, given the intuition developed about people in these two decades in the real world. He decided to pursue research in this area and conducted experiments at Berkeley and Texan for his dissertation, under the tutelage of Matthew Rabin and George Akerlof. Chana's career in academia began with a visiting position at Pompey Fabra in Barcelona in 1997. After commuting for three years between San Francisco and Barcelona and floating free for another year, Gary accepted a position as an assistant professor at AXP in 2001. Within academia, Charnas is known particularly for producing experimental designs to examine preferences, motivations, and incentives in economic settings. Work on social preferences, e.g., Charnas and Rabin, 2002 has helped to delineate underlying preferences for social distribution and reciprocity. Work on cheap talk communication e.g. Charnas, 2000, Charnas and Duffenberg, 2006, 2010, 2011, and Brands, Charnas and Elman, 2016 has illustrated when and how non-binding communication can be effective in achieving socially optimal outcomes. His research on incentivizing exercise, Charnas and Easy, 2009 has helped to lead to programs for improving physical fitness. Charnas's research on social networks has highlighted the importance of exactly how people are connected in determining patterns of economic behavior. Charnas, Barry, Melendez Jimenez, and Sutter 2014 won the prestigious Exeter Prize in 2015 for the best paper published in the previous calendar year in a peer-reviewed journal in the fields of experimental economics, behavioral economics, and decision theory. In addition to his research up and nearing 100 papers, Charnas has served on a number of editorial boards at highly ranked journals. This includes an eight-year stint at the American Economic Review and more than seven years at Management Science. He was appointed as an editor at Games and Economic Behavior in February 2016. Selected Publications Charnas, Gary 2000, Self-Serving Sheep Talk and Credibility, a test of all men's conjecture, games, and economic behavior 33, 177-194. Charnas, Gary, and Matthew Robin 2002, Understanding Social Preferences with Simple Tests, Quarterly Journal of Economics, 117, 817-869. Charnas, Gary 2004, 
Attribution and Reciprocity in an Experimental Labor Market, Journal of Labor Economics, 22, 665-688. Charnas, Gary and Dan Levin, 2005. When Optimal Choices Feel Wrong, a Laboratory Study of Bayesian Updating, Complexity and Effect. American Economic Review, 95, 1300-1309. Charnas, Gary and Martin Duffenberg, 2006. Promises and Partnership, Econometric Care, 74. 1579-1601. Charnas, Gary, Margarita Corman as Bosch, and Guillaume Frechet, 2007. Bargaining and Network Structure, an Experiment, Journal of Economic Theory, 136-2865. Charnas, Gary, Luca Rigotti, and Aldo Rostaccini, 2007. Individual Behavior and Group Membership, American Economic Review, 97, 1340-1352. Charnas, Gary, and Uranese, 2009. Incentives to Exercise, Econometric of 77, 900 Shawness, Gary and Marie-Claire Villeville, 2009, Cooperation and Competition in Intergenerational Experiments in a Field in the Laboratory, American Economic Review, 99, 956-978. Shawness, Gary and Martin Duffenberg, 2011, Participation, American Economic Review, 101, 1211, 1237. Brantz, Jordi and Gary Charnas, 2011, The Strategy versus the Direct Response Method, a first survey of experimental comparisons, Experimental Economics, 14, 375-398. Charnas, Gary and Matthias Sutter, 2012, Groups Meet Better Self-Interested Decisions, Journal of Economic Perspectives, 26, 157-176. Charnas, Gary, David Masklet, and Marie Clairville, level 2014, The Dark Side of Status, Management Science, 60, 38 minus 55. Charnas, Gary, Ramon Cobores, and Natalia Jimenez, 2014, Identities, Selection, and Contributions in a Public Goods Game, Games and Economic Behavior, 87, 322, 338. Charnas, Gary, Francesco Ferri, Miel Melendez Jimenez, and Matthias Sutter, 2014, Experimental Games on Networks, Underpinnings of Behavior and Equilibrium Selection, Econometric Care, 82, 16, 15, 16, 70. Charnas, Gary and Arthur Schramm, 2015, Inducing Norms in Laboratory Allocation Choices, Management Science, 61, 1531, 1546. Babcock, Philip Kelly Bedard, Gary Charnas, John Hartman, and Heather Royer, 2015, Letting Down the Team. Evidence of Social Effects of Team Incentives, Journal of the European Economic Association, 13-841-870. Charnas, Gary and Sphere, 2015, From the Lab to the Real World Science, 356,260, 512, 513. Brantz, Jordi, Gary Charnas, and Matthew Elman, 2016, Let's Talk, How Communication Affects Contract Design, Journal of the European Economic Association. Criticism. From Feminist Economics. Shelia Nelson, in the journal Feminist Economics, criticizes an article of Charnas and Nisi which finds the extremely robust statistics show that women are more risk-averse than men. Charnas and Nisi make their case based on the results of 15 different studies on risk-taking and investment, each of which got a data by gender, and use the same very simple and easy-to-comprehend mechanism for eliciting risk preferences. Additionally, Charnas and Nisi state in the article most of the data were not collected in order to study gender differences, but rather to study other hypotheses regarding investment behavior, ameliorating the issue of publication bias with respect to gender results. In her criticism, Nelson claims the simple, extremely statistically robust experiments with unbiased results, which were not purposed to study gender differences in the first place, do not accurately reflect differences or lack thereof in risk-taking attitudes between men and women.